All right, here we are with topic six, lesson nine. The last lesson in topic six has to do with more problem solving. And what we want to do is make sure we pay attention to all parts of our word problems so that we can see if there are, are any hidden points that we need to solve uh, before we can get to our answer. So let's take a look at that first problem. We see that it says Christy bought two bags of pears. After she ate three pears, how many were left? And there are 10 pears in a bag. Well, what do we need to do first? Well, I see here that we have two bags of pears. She ate three, so that means we're going to have to get rid of three pears. And there are 10 pears in a bag. Well, how do I know how many she had to start with? Well, I take those two numbers, the two bags, times 10 pairs in each bag would get me 20 pairs in all. Oh, now we say we take that three pairs, and we know she ate those, so we say 20 minus the three she ate gives her a remaining 17 pairs. So our final answer for how many were left is 17 pairs. What we first had to do was find how many pairs she had to begin with. And you need to pay attention for those parts now. Two bags and 10 in each bag. They didn't tell you you had to do that, but that was a hidden part. In order to find our final answer, we needed to take another step. So again, we're working on solving multiple step problems. Let's take a look at this problem. We see that there are 10 oranges in a bag and each bag costs $4. If there are six lemons in a bag and a bag of lemons costs $3, well, which costs more, 30 oranges or 30 lemons? And how much more? Ah, now I see that there are going to be two things I need to answer. Which costs more and how much more? So let's figure out, let's do oranges over here and lemons over there. And we see that there were 10 oranges in a bag. And we needed to get to a total of 30 oranges. And I think to myself, all right, what is my missing factor? Hmm. And over here, for the lemons, we see that we had six lemons in a bag. And we needed to get to a total of 30 lemons. Well, 10 times what would get you 30? Ah, three. And six times what factor gets you 30 for the lemons? And that would be five. All right, so... There's our first step. We had one, two problems to do. Now we have know our missing factors and how we got there. And this missing factor actually tells us how many bags we now have. Well, we need to know the cost of the oranges. So if we take our three bags of oranges and our five bags of lemons... And we multiply them by their cost. Oranges cost $4. And lemons cost $3 for a bag. Let's see. What's 3 times $4? And that gets you $12. What is the 5 bags times $3? And that gets you $15. Hmm. Do you know which is more? Now we know the cost of our bags. Can we figure out which one's more? That's right. Our lemons cost more at $15. But how much more? Ah, now we need to do one final part. We got to compare. So let's take this 15 and this 12 and we do a subtraction problem. Not just going to keep working on multiplication. We'll tie some other stuff in there. So what's the difference of 15 and 12? 
and that is $3. So how much more? Well, the answer is $3. Whew, that was a lot of work. If we regroup, if we uh, just quick go over it, we had to first find out how many bags of oranges, then how many bags of lemons. And then we also found out that, hmm, the three bags of oranges cost $12. Then we had to find out the five bags of lemons cost $15. So we could find out which one caught was more. And then we had to find out how much more. Five steps. Now, I know that it may have taken you, you might have realized real quick that, well, 10 times 3 was 30. But don't forget, you will have to explain and be prepared to defend your answer. So here is my homework question for you. Isaac has two dozen cookies. He gives 17 of them away to Evan. Are there six left to give to Matt? Hmm. Now you might think, oh, that's just a yes or no. Well, I want to know the answer, but be prepared to tell me in class when we discuss this how you got to your answer. Try to find that hidden problem somewhere in here to find out, does Matt get his six cookies? Good luck. Review the video for help and tips. I'll see you in class.